What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the best lighting settings for a realistic game in Roblox Studio. So whether you're going for a realistic scene or a showcase like this one, or you just want to have a nice looking realistic game, I'm going to be showing you the best lighting settings. So let's get right into that. The first thing we're going to want to do is go over to the lighting service inside of our Explorer. And if you don't see the Explorer in the top right, you can go to the view tab and then make sure you have both the Explorer and properties open because we're going to be using both of these. After that, you can go back to the home tab, open up the lighting by double clicking on the lighting service right here, or you can click on the arrow. And we just want to delete every single item that's already in here because we're gonna be adding our own things a little later. When you delete everything, you'll notice that your scene probably already looks a little bit better which is a pretty good thing already. So for the lighting, we want to set the ambience to 64,72,79. Brightness will leave at three, but then the color shift bottom will also leave at the default setting right here. Color shift top, we are going to change to 253, 222, and then 196. This will give everything kind of a little bit more of an orangish yellowish hue and overall make everything look a little bit better. For the environment diffuse scale, I'm going to be leaving this at 0.2 and then for the environment specular scale, I'm going to be leaving this at 0.2 as well. Global shadows will be set to true of course. Outdoor ambience is going to be 64. 72, 79, just as before with the other ambience, and the shadow softness I'm going to leave at 0.1. After that we set technology over to future, and then for the clock time we're going to set this at 14, geographic latitude is going to be 40, and the exposure compensation is going to be 0.2 for a little bit more brightness. After that the fog color we're going to change to 136, comma 174 comma 192 and then for the fog end we're going to leave this at 2500 for a nice little fog in the background after that let's click on the plus icon to the right of lighting and add in an atmosphere and we're going to set the density to precisely 0.3 then we can add in a sky right here and you can change the background to whatever you want to however for the moon angular size i'm going to be setting this down to three the star count i'm going to bump down to 2000 and the sun angular size i'm going to put at six after that we add in a blur effect into our lighting right here and we're going to change the size down to three for a nice little little bit amount of blur next let's click on the plus icon one more time and search for a depth of field effect and if we open up this we want to make sure that the far intensity is 0.1 the focus distance is going to be 60 the in focus distance is going to be 32.5 and the near intensity is going to be 0.1. After that, click on the lighting, add on the click on the plus icon to the right of the lighting one more time and we're going to add in a sun rays effect and for this we are going to change the intensity to 0.25 or just leave it as if it was already there and then for the spread I'm going to bring this down to 0.6. So that is everything that we need for our realistic scene and you can feel free to mess around with any of the settings inside of here to go for a better look inside of your game. Let's say you didn't necessarily like the sky being there, you can feel free to delete that and I think I will as well simply because I believe it to be looking a little better. So here is what this realistic scene is looking like after the fact that we've already gone through all this lighting. Now I want to show you a few things you can also do with the terrain. So if you open up the workspace, go to terrain, not only can you mess with the water reflectance and water transparency for different levels of detail and all sorts of different fun things to do with the water, but you can also mess with the water wave speed and size for better looking water overall, and you can even change the grass length and whether or not decoration is on, which plays a huge role in the detail and you can up or decrease the size of the grass if you want to. Anyways, just as a reminder to see where we were before all of this stuff, I'm going to go back and show you guys the before and after. So once again, this is before all that lighting. It doesn't look too bad, doesn't look too great. 
And this is after all of those lighting changes. It most definitely looks a lot better in my opinion. If this tutorial helped you with your own lighting settings, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.